Good afternoon and welcome to another Official Watchers YouTube unboxing. I'm so glad that you've joined us today. I just wanted to say before we get started, thank you to all of you that have been commenting. Today, we've got an absolutely minty fresh box. It looks fantastic. The brown Patek boxes always make my heart race. Um, let's see what little gem we've got inside here today. Guys, here it is, the Patek Philippe Aquanaut 5168G in khaki green. It's made of white gold, it's 42.2 millimeters. I love the size and ah, this watch really speaks to me. It always has, I think the Aquanaut is so cool. Let's find out a few little bits about the watch. Okay, so where did the Aquanaut come from? In 1997, Patek Philippe launched the Aquanaut line in response to a younger modern crowd beginning to show an interest in luxury watches, thanks to the creation of wealth coming from the dot-com stock markets. Swiss watches were enjoying a rise in popularity and Patek needed to get on board. They already had the Nautilus line, but this was still a full metal bracelet and it was in a higher price bracket than the Aquanaut would eventually reside in. They needed to go casual, and they did by unveiling their first piece on a dedicated rubber strap. The first of the steel Aquanauts was referenced 6065A. A standing for Asia, which is French for steel and still designed and used as a Patek designation today. In 2007, for the 10th anniversary of the Aquanaut, Patek revamped the refreshed lineup and hailed the introduction of the 5167A, the current three-hander steel reference. In 2017, for the 20th anniversary of the Aquanaut, Patek introduced a blue variant in white gold, the 5168G, which is an absolute stunner. However, two years later, this absolute bombshell, the khaki green grenade, was launched. The main changes here were the dial and the strap. The deeply embossed dial grooves were switched for shallower embossing, which was steeply curved to match the flow of the case and to create a slightly three-dimensional spherical appearance and the strap became integrated to the case. So the whole piece had a flow to it, which wasn't present on the original reference. In low light, the dial is close to a dark matte olive, but once the sun hits it, it can cast a tinted shimmer which pops perfectly with the case and green rubber strap. This is a really autumnal looking watch, but it can be changed for a white rubber bee, which I should note that we are official stockists of, and when you do put the white strap on this, it does change it completely and gives it a real summer vibe. Um, it doesn't really need tinkering with this watch, let's be honest, but if you wanted that way to go for a sort of summer look, then you could do. I personally love it as it is, uh, but it's nice to know that you've got the option there. Okay, why do I love this so much? I think that these are a little bit more fun than a Nautilus. Sorry to all the Nautilus purists out there. Don't get me wrong, a Nautilus chronograph is a different kettle of fish. However, I love the Aquanaut because I love the sporty elegance. Um, I've always been obsessed with watches that kind of play up on a sportier aspect, almost like imagine if this could just be your weekend shorts and t-shirt play tennis in watch. Um, I just think that there's something so cool about being able to just be by the pool and chilling out with an Aquanaut uh, and that it doesn't take itself too seriously like a Nautilus might. You know, the rubber strap is the best I've ever held. Um, the clasp on here is beautiful. The way it opens and closes, it's got the Patek Calatrava logo there. Um, I'm obsessed with their logo and I just, I love everything about this watch. One thing to note is the straps do need cutting uh, when you first get them. So they come XXL and then they would be custom done to your hand, which obviously can be done here. Uh, and that would make for a perfect sizing of the piece. The watch is made of white gold, which gives it some real heft. 
uh, it's 42.2 millimeters, so it's 2.2 millimeters larger, which sometimes gives it that jumbo nickname. Um, another thing is Patek actually officially called this strap Tropical. I have been well informed this morning that this strap is totally discontinued, um, so you can't get this strap anymore, uh, let alone how hard it is to actually find these watches. The watch has a 45 hour power reserve. You can see the beautiful Patek movement working away there in the display case back. Again, so cool on a sports watch. It has loom on all of the hands on the dial and also as well on the Arabic numerals. I mentioned also earlier that it was kind of like a grenade and these parts on the tropical strap remind me of a grenade, which again is just really, really cool. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for a 5168G khaki green Aquanaut. Guys, I want to know from you, do you agree with me that this is a bit more cool and fun than a Nautilus? Or would you prefer a green dial Nautilus and just be done with it? Please do let us know in the comments. Now, I did want to go on to a wrist check today. This is our first YouTube video where we don't have the same brand on the wrist, and there's a reason for that today. I think that we shouldn't force ourselves into that. So, why did I choose these two? Well, as you can see, this 2022 Titanium AP was definitely designed with the same kind of creative thought in mind. However, there's something huge that's different in these two. Do you know what it is? You might have guessed it, it's the price. So, on a 42 millimeter AP Royal Oak Offshore in titanium, you'd be looking at around 50K. For the Patek 5168G Aquanaut in khaki green, you'd be looking at around 100K. So guys, let us know in the comments, is it worth the extra for the Patek, or would you go for the titanium and add another crazy piece with the money? I'd be interested to know of what you guys think of that conundrum. There are no wrong answers. We probably just want them all, but actually that would be interesting to me as you could have a two watch or even three watch collection there for the price of just this one Aquanaut. Guys, thank you so much for joining me here in Jardin du Mayfair, heaven on earth for any watch aficionado. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll be back next week with another video.